Hello again, everyone. My name is Dale Dufay. This is Mary the Magnificent. How you doing, Mary? Good morning, everybody. I'm doing good. Bright and bushy tail, ready to go. Right. Tuesday, Tuesday morning, <laughs> right? What did we do Sunday? Sunday, we, we went to Menards, right? Yep. Yep. And we got... 58 fi sheets. Yeah, all the drywall. And, uh, you know, the, we got the purple board there. See that? That's the mildew and moisture re resistant drywall. And we got it up on the ceiling in the bathroom so far. Uh, we can't do the walls until we get the tub surround in. So that's kind of next on the agenda after uh, we do the second bedroom drywall. And in the master bedroom, we got all the drywall up in the wall, huh, Ma? And Yay! My room! This is Mary's room. And you can see all the drywall. You could even echoes in here a little yeah, bit. Yeah. That's really cool. Hello, hello. But we got all the drywall up, even the closet. We did the bathroom ceiling and uh, this bedroom walls uh, yesterday. So it took most of the day, but it went pretty well. Uh, we decided to lay the drywall down horizontally because you get fewer seams. If you put, if you stood, a lot of people stand them up uh, because it's less than eight feet, but then you'll have a seam, a vertical seam every four feet. And here we only have a vertical seam every eight feet and it's only four feet long. And so it's, and then you get this, you know, factory uh, tape seam right across the middle horizontally. So it's kind of better this way. That's a little more wasteful, but not really. Uh, and then as you can see, we, we just simply put the piece, a whole piece on and then cut out the openings. Uh, I know it seems wasteful, but that's the proper way to do it. Cause then that way you don't have multiple seams, you know, Across here, we only have one seam, one small seam, uh, you know, across the whole thing. Uh, so, you know, that, that makes it, and then we just, of course, we got the horizontal seam. Uh, so it's kind of better that way, and I think we did it the right way. And, uh, you know, we might need more drywall when we get to that point, but we're gonna do the second bedroom next, right? Yep. And then, uh, uh, you know, see, we're kind of always kind of getting commandeered here with all the drywall. Uh, but, you know, we're going to do this second bedroom next. Uh, you know, get all the walls in here and the closet and everything. We got t uh, 10 sheets put aside for it. Uh, it's probably going to use most of them, if not all of them. Uh, we put four, the bedroom used to it, almost 15 sheets just uh, a on big the wall, room. just on the walls alone. Uh, and it was so nice getting all the ceilings done. We don't have to worry about the ceilings, even the... My room had... Three windows in it, and your room only has one. Oh, I know. We had basically because of the doorway here, right here, and the closet opening and the window openings, we had five openings we had to cut around, not to mention the outlets, of course. We actually have to take uh, the outlets out. Um, and that's and that's so these this part here, the outlet, they call it, we call it the rabbit ears. This part has to go over the drywall right here and then we cut neatly around the box <clears throat> and then some of them we didn't we didn't cut that good so we'll have to backfill <laughs> no big uh, deal most of them's good most of them's good right because mary mary's really good at that stuff and then we make sure that all you know insulation filled in in areas like this before we rock and then we put some, that great stuff around the bottom there on top of that two by six uh, that gap there, we make sure that that's filled. We couldn't really do any time lapse because the, the space is so confining. Yep. Uh, so we're going to do this room next and then maybe some of the hallway and then we're going to put the tub surround in, which is right here. Uh, we got to install that. That goes on before the drywall. The drywall goes over, uh, the, you know, the top of this here and over this lip here. Or we could stop the drywall here and then backfill the rest. We'll see what we feel like doing here. Uh, but this part is next. Uh, the, you know, the tub surround after the second bedroom. We put the tub surround in and then finish uh, purple boarding this. This used to be green. I remember this yeah, being green. Be green. We used board. to call it green board. Yep. Uh, now it's purple, so I guess we're gonna purple board the bathroom. Green board. I know. <laughs> well, you never know. In this, this reality, maybe it's always been purple. You never know. Uh, but I always remember it being green. And then uh, then we got the utility room. Uh, we're gonna take some of this, a lot of this stuff out of here, like the bikes and everything. We got more room 
in the storage area because that's where the original 34 sheets of drywall were that we bought about 11 man or got about 11 months ago <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but we got that that's all up on the ceiling we got that all hung and then this is all brand new drywall we got uh, 44 sheets of white and then eight sheets of the purple so yeah the truck was loaded yeah down. we had to make two trips didn't we yep that's no big deal we could have made it in one but we don't want to overwork the Ooh. truck and then we were able to uh, back it up right right to the steps here back the truck up right to the steps here and it was actually kind of easy getting them loaded up in the house huh ma yeah. wasn't too bad well, look and, out the window and see what's popping out oh yeah let's go see the rose of sharon over here is that the rose of sharon you're talking about yeah let's go out this way this bike's back this bike up like i said we're gonna uh clear maybe take some time first thing this morning and clear this all out but hey hi, there's a kitty they got oh. They got the car. That's, uh, that, you can't come in. They were allowed to come in when we when we were loading the drywall. They came in. Uh, we couldn't stop them, but they were able to. But yeah, look at the rows of Sharon. Ain't they pretty? Wow, look at these flowers. These are beautiful. Yeah, that's the hummingbirds were already feed, um, feeding on that flower right there. But look at the rows of Sharon. Very nice. Very nice. And then the front ones. I got a picture. Oh, okay. So they, we can, we could, it was a cool red one. Yeah, we can impose the, uh, they, those were lilies. Uh, so those are really nice. And we're, hey, we're enjoying our deck out here, of course. Yeah. And so are the kitties. There comes crooked. There comes she with the tail that is crooked. <laughs> <laughs> and here's so, she that don't shut up. <laughs> I know, and then chatty patty. So you don't call her chatty <laughs> patty for nothing. And their son's the same way. But yeah, everything's going along really good here. So basically, now that we're drywalling, uh, once the drywall is all done, then of course we got to tape it and everything. Then it's really all downhill from here. Yep. Uh, after the drywall and the taping and sanding all the, uh, you know, pa uh, sanding all the taping work and everything, then there's the carpentry. And then after the carpentry, there's the this, this painting. And then we're going to move in. Yay! I honestly think that in the next uh, 30 days is going to be very... Uh, special very productive that thinks that's the word i was looking for and also because we have the material the landlord's opening his wallet now and we got the permission from the township geneva township that we can continue and proceed with the work here so that's exactly what we're going to do mary and i are going to work seven days a week and get this done and her sister wants to come and help too uh, so we're going to let her come and help too so do the kitties are all so excited you guys want to be in the video huh <laughs> so yeah, everything's going real good finally i i uh, predict uh, that this is going to be done like i said in the next 30 days it's going to be like like seriously done you know and it's you know because after all it's only a, a mobile home 54 foot by 14 foot trailer you know there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to get this uh, proceed and get this all done so we're hoping in the next couple days to get all the drywall done and then then start taping it and we'll try us we'll do some demonstration videos on how to bed tape and uh, stuff like that and how to do it by hand i have a friend that owns a, a bazooka uh, and a, he's a drywall finisher by trade and he's been doing high rises in chicago for the last several years he's got a really good job uh, but he lives in Illinois, so I can't ask him to help me. He's the guy we bought the truck from, our truck. And then, uh, but he's got, he said lives in Illinois, so we're going to have to do this all by hand. So we'll show some demonstration videos when that time comes. Uh, and tomorrow we'll have a video and show you the progress that we did today. All right, Mary, is there anything else you want to say? I want to say I love you guys and thank you guys for watching the videos and all of the positive feedback we get from you guys i love you guys for that and thank you guys for your donations the paypal and cash app link will be in the bottom the description box right and the links and thank are you real guys safe so much. they're it real safe and lot. simple yeah and i love you guys and i hope you guys have a wonderful day i'm sure everybody loves you too mary and i'm trying to get videos in when i can i got a couple in Right, good for you, because, uh, you know, just bear with her, because she is working real hard every day here. 
I haven't been overworking. <laughs> I know I've been making sure she has adequate rest and oxygen and things like that. Uh, and so we don't, I'm not overworking her, but the pr problem is, is she likes to just nonstop work. That's the problem. I try to say, let's take a break. <laughs> and her taking a break is changing the blades and the utility knife and things like that and sweeping the floor. That's her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here in a minute. <laughs> I almost later, have to I'm grab coming. her, grab her and make her sit down. So that's the problem I have with her right now. That's not bad, though. She wants to keep worried. I just worry about her health, though. She she is recovering from a stroke. Yeah, so, But anyway, the work is good for you. So with that, we thank you for watching. And we'll talk at you later. Love you.